The EMI Stream Cam 1 is designed to simplify your streaming experience with a single click, offering a seamless and user-friendly solution for single or multi-cam setup. In this review, we will look at the video quality, audio quality, and features to find out if this is the camera for you. The camera's sleek and compact wireless design ensures effortless setup, making streaming an absolute breeze. This weighs in at 256 grams, so it won't add much weight to your bag. This also comes with its own carrying case, and inside there's a USB-C charging cable that has a USB-A adapter, and there are also some stickers to help you keep track of your camera and microphone. Now taking a closer look at the body, this has a 1 4 thread on the bottom of the camera to mount it on a tripod or any other stand that you may have. They also sell a stand separately on their website if you want to pick one up. The camera features a multifunctional button on its rear panel, allowing you to power the device on and off. You can also customize a single press to start and stop recording or to conveniently inspect the strength of the Wi-Fi signal. On the left side here, there's a micro SD card slot in case you want to record internally, and it supports up to 256 gigabytes. On the center, there's a microphone jack if you want to plug in your own microphone. This also has a USB-C connection to connect it to your laptop or computer and use it as a webcam. This is a plug and play device, so you won't need to download any drivers. This also doubles as the charging port. So this has two microphones right below the lens and on the top, there's a magnetic connection for the wireless microphone. The wireless microphone has a clip to attach to your clothing and it has a range of up to 10 meters in an open space. This is great for those of you who need to be in a different location than the camera. This also comes with a windscreen that magnetically connects to the front of the microphone to have you covered if you plan on streaming outdoors for sporting events and such. Now moving over to the front, this has a 3mm lens that gives you a wide angle view and it has the Sony IMX307 sensor with an f2.0 aperture. This records in 1080p at 30 frames per second and it supports HDR. This uses Bluetooth 5.0 and it supports the 2.4 and 5GHz network for a faster connection. So setting up the EMI Stream Cam 1 is a breeze. And its wireless functionality means you can position it anywhere you like without worrying about cable management. This flexibility ensures that your streaming setup remains clean and clutter free. This can be set up with multiple cameras for streaming or recording. Whether you're a content creator, gamer, or someone looking to share your experience online, the EMI Stream Cam 1 makes it very simple to get started. This also makes it very simple to quickly transition between cameras for those that need multiple angles like for PC builders, cooking channels, and so on. Now the best part about this is that it makes editing much simpler for those recording to the SD card. Both videos will start and end at almost the same time, so you won't have to spend hours trying to line up the audio for both videos to sync up. The camera's video quality is sharp and clear with good low light performance. Hey Google, turn on office lights. While it may not rival some higher end streaming cameras, it certainly outperforms many budget alternatives. The camera features white balance and exposure compensation for a clear and well balanced video, but I found the exposure to be a little too high at times. The clear accuracy on this is really good. The colors do look a little oversaturated just a little bit, but it's not something I would complain about because it makes it look really good. So under image adjustment you can enable and disable HDR. In here you can also set the exposure meter to center, average, or spot, and you can also mirror the video in case you want to mount this upside down. Now if you will be using the camera to move around, the stabilization on this is not great. This is intended to be set up on a tripod or on top of your laptop, so it's understandable. But this is what it will look like if you're going to be walking around with it. So you can see that the footage is quite shaky. Now let's go ahead and switch gears to the audio quality. Here's a quick microphone test from both the wireless microphone and the internal microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. This is a quick microphone test coming from the Streamcam 1. And this is what the audio quality will sound like to your viewers. So right now I have the wireless microphone from my camera one, and then I am also using the built-in microphones from camera two. So let's go ahead and install this, um, these fans on my Corsair 5000 RGB case. So I don't have all the screws, so I'm just gonna be using two screws to hold them in place in the meantime while I look for the screws later. So we're gonna put this one right, right here. We'll put this one over here. And then we'll grab this other one and we'll do the same thing. So another great thing about the app besides being able to monitor both your um, cameras is that you can also monitor your audio so you can see if you're peaking in either one of the cameras and you can adjust that. Um, so you have your little gain here. You can increase it, but you cannot decrease the gain less than zero decibels. You have to do that in post. So you can also see 
what microphone their camera is using. For this camera, it's using the built-in microphone. For this other one, it's using the wireless microphone. And I have that microphone on my shirt right now. Um, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. All right, so that was a quick audio sample on both of the microphones. I'm curious to know if this is good enough for you guys to use on a stream or will you be using a dedicated microphone instead? In my opinion, the audio quality is good given the size of the built-in microphone and the lapel mic. I feel that the audio from the lapel sounds much cleaner though, but the built-in audio is much louder. Another great thing about this is that the battery can last up to 8 hours per charge, which is amazing. This lets you set up far from outlets without worrying about them dying early on, unless you forgot to recharge them before you left. So these will charge in about 3 hours and it has a maximum charging input of 10 watts. The EMI Stream app is the heart of this innovation. The dedicated app simplifies the streaming process, providing intuitive controls and settings, allowing you to focus on your content without the technical hassle. On here, you can see all the cameras you are connected to, and it will show you the battery status of each one and the Wi-Fi strength as well. From here, you can quickly switch between all your cameras, or you can enable auto switch, and the cameras will automatically switch for you. When you click on record, a menu option will show up where you can select if you want the video to record onto your phone and at what quality. It also gives you the option to record to the SD card and select the resolution to record at. Now something worth noting is that if you enable the record to phone at 1080p while recording to the SD card at 1080p, it will not record in 1080p on the SD card, it would actually record in 720p. To me this looks like it might be a bug, so hopefully this gets fixed with the firmware update. Now if you want to go live, you can tap on the live button up here and you can select the resolution in which you want to stream in. You can then select the platform that you want to go live on and you can set the camera to record internally while you're streaming. The best part is that you can go live on multiple platforms at the same time. And this supports up to four platforms. The camera also has face AI tracking that works really well. The camera zooms into your face and it keeps you in frame as long as it detects your face. Another great thing is that you can add text overlays and customize the color, font, and position of where the texture show up on the screen. You can also upload small images or images that take up the full screen. And you can also position this on different areas of the screen. Now this does limit you to five materials. Overall, if you have one camera, this is a decent webcam, but when you have multiple cameras, that's when the magic happens. This helps make streaming with multiple cameras super convenient. It offers an impressive package for those looking to step up their streaming game without breaking the bank. The Amy Stream app streamlines the entire process, making it accessible to both newcomers and seasoned streamers. While it might not compete with premium cameras in terms of video quality, its overall performance, ease of use, and budget-friendly price tag makes it a strong contender in the streaming camera market. If you're interested in picking some up, I will leave the link in the description. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and feel free to drop a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.